Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Married 10 years. Wife cheating and confronted her. So I need some honest advice here. My wife and I married 10 years. Kids, great relationship, and I would regard her as my best friend up to about three days ago. I had massive amount of data being used on my phone. Turned out to be an app. No big deal. However, when I pulled up the usage data, it automatically pulls up phone calls first. I see a 45-minute phone call at 2 a.m. in the morning to a number I don't know. So I look up the number and how many calls, how long, etc. Turns out there is 37 calls to this number, 25 of them after I have been asleep in bed. Many of them at 1, 2, 3, even 4 in the morning. I confronted her. She has a new, great, job with a very intelligent boss she envies, and made this clear to me. I've always trusted her. All the calls were to her boss, he called only three or four times. She said everything they talked about was work-related, insisted on it over and over again. Despite this I know some of the nights we had been. Having a few toddies, weekends. She also lied to me two months ago when she said she went running by herself at 5.30 a.m. She did but he ended up showing up and said he couldn't run that early. Not a big deal Bikasu she told me she was running with him, but she insisted when she got back that he never even showed up. So why lie about it? Really weird. I called her on it and she said she loves me and only has feelings for me and she wouldn't destroy her career and his career by cheating. More emphasis on what she would lose than she loves me. He has a super fancy pants sports car and is married with W kids himself. When he was on a business trip, my wife said he needed to text her updates of the conference. He ends up sending her a picture of a 750k car he is thinking about buying. She shows me but still pretty weird that he is texting this to his employee right. Aside from that she removed texting from the iPad and her computer at home. She also changed the passwords on this account. I made her show me the messages to him. She had erased them all. So, now what? Was she having a physical affair too? She says absolutely not it was all business related. I will say she is addicted to education and learning and it would not be surprising to hear this. But the fact he was receptive to her calls in the middle of the night is messed up. Update 1. Four days after I've found out, we have been talking over the past few days and arguing and what not. She insists she loves me, has only loved me, and will always only love me. That nothing physical ever happened. That the new job got her worked up, someone could have died if she put the wrong thing in, and that she called him late one night because she needed to make sure what she did was right. That turned into several calls late at night. She admits to calling but that she never emotionally cheated because it really was work-related. She has zero feelings for him and their relationship has been and still is 100% professional. Only. Fair enough. I am reasonable, this seems reasonable. She willingly gave me her iPhone and said install spyware on it. I told her I will be recovering all of the messages and she said that is fine. So, maybe I am being over the top, but why erase them if it wasn't incriminating? She said she didn't think I would like it if I knew she was texting him. I said one. Do you think I like finding out you erased all of the messages more? Two. If it was all professional why would I care? She has apologized about one million times, promises it will never happen again, but I cannot get over the erasing of the messages. It will be chilling to see if she erased these when I called her at work to ask her about the number. If she erased them right after I called, the messages will more than likely be incriminating. Update 2. Sorry not updated in a while. This sucks. So the texting continued to happen. The call stopped. So over the course of the last seven months, without getting into too much detail, as this would go on forever, she continued to get texts from him. She got a couple from him, asking if he can buy her lingerie and telling her how great her body is. She texted him back. She said don't test me. He said I'd love to test you. All night long. I saved everything. When this was occurring we still had a great relationship, love yous, kissing every morning, intimacy. Then a few weeks ago they went to a conference together. She hung up on me when I called. Then immediately called him from her room to his room so it wouldn't be on phone records. Detail here. 
He called her from a cell phone not belonging to him, so I wouldn't be able to track it he shows up. Also, I have the entire audio of this. I listened when she got home. She fucking completely froze up. Couldn't believe what was happening and that I knew. Things got pretty hairy, no violence just yelling and screaming. I left. She spent a couple days with kids at her parents. She came back. Wants to work things out. Agreed to. Counseling. I'm a fucking mess. Have no idea what to do. I love her. Believe she is my soulmate. She said that they both just fucked up and that here they were making things happen together and the adrenaline and rush of it all, yada yada, but he is such a fucking predator. They still work together, albeit far less. What the duck do I do? He has said he has told his wife, but I've seen the messages and appears he didn't tell her everything. Like the part where they have intimacy which is pretty clear on the audio. Story 2. I, 28 female, got flown out to have intimacy for a weekend. So I met this guy, 32M, on Tinder about a month ago. I used passport and set my location to Denver because the pool of guys in my state is questionable. We literally spoke for an hour before he offered to buy a plane ticket and fly me out. I agreed to this, I know, it's crazy, and flew out this past weekend. For the past month we would occasionally text. We wouldn't let it get too personal because you know. Feelings exist. I thought I had planned it out around my period, but it decided to come early, and I let him know last Monday that I had started and if he wanted to cancel I totally understood, but he said that didn't bother him and we would make it work. Fast forward to the past Friday when I arrive and things are great, the vibe is there. We actually found out he has family in the town that I grew up in, and he would spend summers there so for 10 years we were in the same state every summer. The intimacy was great that Friday evening, but it wasn't until Saturday that he started acting weird. I didn't bleed at all when we had intimacy on Friday, but when we had intimacy Saturday morning I bled and got it on his sheets, but he was more concerned about me and not the sheets. After we got all of that taken care of we got breakfast. Things seemed okay, but then he became distant. We were on the couch and he was being all handsy, and I asked if I should grab a towel just in case, and he paused for the longest time and said sure. I told him we didn't have to if he didn't want to and he ended up taking his dog for a walk and getting pizza. When he got bad we had lunch and had intimacy, but when we had dinner it was awkward as duck. Like not a word was said, I would try and start a conversation but he wouldn't give. We ended up getting high and watching Monty Python and inside and then went to bed. He would do the cute things like be all snuggly and not want me to start playing with his hair and wouldn't let go of my hand. But Sunday morning comes around, and we went into the kitchen, and it was 1045, and he he made a comment about how it was only 1045, and he thought it was more like noon, that alone hurt because it just seemed like he was ready for me to leave. We watched another movie before I left, and then I took a shower, and he took time to the airport. On the way to the airport it was total silence, and when we got there he said he would be down to do this again, and then he gave me a hot second of a hug and a freaking PAT on the back. I know this was just an intimacy weekend and I mentally prepared for this being a one-time thing. We didn't set rules or talk boundaries, but I just want to know what went wrong and if it was something that I did. Should I reach out? Should I text him? If I do, what do I say? Or do I just completely leave this alone? Edit? Okay. So to set this whole thing straight on my feelings and that I expected more, I didn't. I knew what this was and I knew that this was just intimacy. All I was trying to do during dinner was talk about all the movies that we had watched that day, which were a lot. I wasn't asking for a life story or trying to get to know him like a lot of you are implying.